Have I just found the best coffee alternative on the market? This is Mud Water, a mushroom coffee alternative made with organic ingredients and nootropics that apparently deliver a strong energy kick, boost your focus and immunity without the jitters and crash. But does Mud Water really work? Well, I've tried it for a month and in this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and I'm the founder of Your Inception. On this channel, we have professionals achieve peak brain performance. So if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Let's talk about my experience with mud water, the actual benefits, effects, its taste, why you shouldn't drink it in the afternoon and much, much more. By the way, what's your opinion about coffee? Do you like it or do you prefer to avoid it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, Mud Water was designed to help you establish a new morning routine with an energy boosting drink that contains only a little caffeine and some of the most potent natural compounds for performance. Now, in the past two years or so, I've been seeing more and more coffee alternatives hitting the market because people are getting more aware of the coffee side effects, such as jitters, daily crashes, negative impact on sleep, headaches, and many others. But since we all need a booster now and then, can such a natural solution provide the promised boost without causing any of its side effects? And is it tasty enough to drink it daily? Well, I've been drinking mud water daily for the last month, so let me share with you what I've learned during this test. So I've just made my first cup of mud water, so let's see how it smells and tastes. Um, yeah, it's like, um, that's an interesting smell. It's like, uh, like Christmas cookies or something like that. It, it reminds me of that. But uh, yeah, I think taste is more important. Um, hmm. Okay, it's all right. Um, not sure what I expected, but it doesn't doesn't taste too bad. Um, I definitely have to get used to taste. That's for sure. But it's kind of um, it's earthy. It's very earthy. Um, it's, um, I think it by default tastes better than, than a cup of coffee that is, um, uh, if you're not used to it, but once you get used to coffee, most people really like its taste. So this is quite different. So I think it's something you have to get used to, but, um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. That's for sure. Let me drink this for a while, for a couple of weeks, and then let's see how I get used to the taste. Now, first of all, I had a hard time getting mud water shipped to me because the brand doesn't ship to Europe, which I understand, but they could ship me one package at my costs, as I suggested, just to try it out. Anyhow, I later got the product from a friend, so that was fine. So let's start with the taste, because if people won't like its taste, this will never become a real coffee alternative. Now, personally, I think it has a decent taste. It tastes very earthy, and you can feel the masala chai and the mushrooms, but not so much the cacao. Mud water more tastes like a chai than cacao, actually. Its taste and structure is not something that made me extremely excited about the product, but I think it is drinkable and you can get used to it. Now, I haven't tried their creamer and sweetener yet, but I can imagine that when you combine them, the taste is actually even better. Now, I personally added a bit of monk fruit to mud water. This is, by the way, my favorite sweetener, which improved the taste by quite a lot. Also, I found the taste better when made in plant milk. I generally drink rice or, or almond milk. So that's something for you to experiment with. But of course, if you're going to make mud water in milk every day, this will increase the cost a bit. Now, if the taste is not that bad, how about the actual effects? Well, I've tried mud water on different occasions, but I mainly drank it in the morning as my coffee substitute. After a month of testing, there's no doubt that drinking mud water boosted my energy and improved my focus, which was slightly surprising, but it made me very, very happy. I got into this calm, focused state for the whole morning, probably around four hours or so. And after that, the effects slowly winded off. Now, what should I say about the effects? I honestly expected a bit more because the kick was quite mild compared to a cup of coffee. My motivation wasn't the same as with a cup of coffee, so that wasn't optimal. But on the other hand, the effects lasted much longer, I didn't crash after four hours, and I felt very calm, unlike with a cup of coffee. So overall, I really liked mud water. But is it good enough to substitute your morning cup of coffee, or is it more of an afternoon coffee alternative? Now, before I answer that, let's quickly mention mud water ingredients and a few unexpected benefits you can get from this drink. Now, the base of mud water is masala chai. Masala chai is particularly popular in Southeast Asian countries, such as India and Pakistan. 
It consists of black tea and various spices and herbs, which is the reason why mud water has such a particular taste. Now, if you ever drank masala chai and you liked its taste, then you will love mud water. But if you don't like masala chai, I don't think mud water will become part of your morning routine. Now, other crucial ingredients in mud water are lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, and reishi. Chaga has potent anti-inflammatory properties, and it also helps promoting brain health by preventing it from deteriorating diseases such as Alzheimer's. Lion's mane mushroom is an edible mushroom that has anxiolytic and antioxidant properties, so it plays a vital role in calming you down, but it is also great uh, for your brain because it helps in the repair of damaged nerve fibers. Reishi is yet another mushroom that is often underestimated. It's strong antioxidant and great for reducing stress, which is why you won't get nervous after drinking mud water. Then there is cordyceps, another mushroom that has multiple benefits. Among other things, cordyceps may boost exercise performance. Now the less important ingredient I think in this drink is cacao, which is jam-packed with flavonoids. I'm not sure if you knew, but cacao can improve blood circulation, which leads to enhanced alertness. Now, keep in mind that most mushrooms have quite a bitter taste. That's why some people would prefer adding some kind of a sweetener to this drink. Now, as you can see, by drinking mud water, you will get many special effects. You cannot get bad drinking coffee. So this alone may convince some of you to say goodbye to coffee and welcome mud water into your home. But there's still one problem with mud water, and that's its caffeine dose. Yes, mud water contains 40 milligrams of caffeine. For comparison, a standard cup of espresso contains in average about 75 milligrams of caffeine. That's why you will feel that cup of espresso much more than mud water. Now, if you're sensitive to caffeine, you'll probably want to avoid mud water. However, I want to share something very interesting with you. So personally, I'm a fast caffeine metabolizer. I get a very strong energy boost with coffee that lasts for about one hour, and then I crash every single time. And that is one of the reasons why I tried to avoid coffee. But with mud water, I had no such issues. Mud water didn't make me nervous, anxious, or anything alike, despite the caffeine. Now, I could drink it daily without any problems, so you may give it a try even if you generally have issues with caffeine. But you shouldn't drink it too late in the afternoon because of the caffeine's half-life. As you probably know, caffeine stays in the system for about 10 to 18 hours. This means that if you drink it too late, it will negatively impact your sleep, similarly like coffee. Because of that, mud water is a great morning coffee alternative, but not optimal for the afternoon. Now, before I share my verdict about mud water, let's first look at the price and then compare the pros and cons of mud water. By the way, guys, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go through our free brain assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics. So, 30 servings of mud water costs about $50 or $40 if you subscribe, which is way cheaper than drinking coffee in Starbucks, but probably more expensive than making it at home. Now, in my opinion, you can get so many additional benefits from mud water, and this price is a no-brainer. But of course, I know that not everyone can afford it. Having said this, let's talk about its pros and cons. Now, the pros of mud water are, it can boost your focus and energy, it has potent ingredients and nootropics, it does not contain a proprietary blend, so all the ingredients have their dosages enlisted. If you alter its taste, you could learn to love it. And it provides multiple benefits that coffee cannot. Now, how about the cons? The effects are milder compared to the cup of coffee. It's a bit pricey for some. And the taste and smell are a bit off. I still prefer the taste of coffee. So, to my verdict. If you're hoping to get the same kick as with your regular cup of coffee, um, you won't get it with mud water, but you will feel energized and focused for much longer than with one cup of coffee. Mud water is a unique innovation and definitely a good alternative to coffee. It has no side effects. Plus, it offers a lot of health benefits, thanks to its nootropic affiliated ingredients list. So if you care about your long-term energy, your focus and overall performance, and if you don't want to burn out, then I'd give mud water a try. There's a link below if you want to get a special price and of course if you want to try mud water. But if you want to get similar effects in a capsule form, then Qualia Mind is a product for you. You can watch my full review up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.